who doesn't get really the lessons that your pastor is teaching you, they look at God and they value the gift higher than the gifter. Mm. That is a problem, folks. Where are the parents at in the room? <laughs> a show of hands, right? You know what it is? When I got my beautiful baby girl come up to me and she said, Daddy, I want this and that and the other. Don't you know I want to give it to her? Because I love her. Amen. Because I love her. And I just, I have a hard time. I got that little soft heart, right? I have two girls. Eight and a half, two and a half. And I just want to give them everything they ask for. Because they just steal me. They melt my heart. And do you know God is love? As, as much as I love my precious baby girls, the level at which I love them fails compared to how much God loves us. Amen. Isn't that unbelievable? That's unbelievable. So he wants us to have those things, and I want to give those things to my daughter, but I don't want my daughter to be so consumed by those things that she loves the things that daddy's going to give her more than she loves daddy. Do you receive that? Amen. And that is a problem. So turn to Luke 22. We're going to have you bounce today. Is that all right with you, church? We're going to have you bounce. All right? So turn to Luke 22. Let's look at this for a minute here. Now watch this. Watch what Jesus does. So now look, well, let's, let's tie this in. We're going to keep tying this in, keep tying this in, keep tying this in so we can reinforce this. So, so we're at Luke 22. We're going to be on verse 35. Now we just talked about direction. We just talked about direction, didn't we? Right? And we talked about direction is very important. God doesn't always tell us where we're going to go. But we got to trust him to know that when we get there, there is a blessing at the end of the journey. Amen? Amen. Now watch this also. Now you see the Jesus dispatching the disciples. Say it with you. Dispatching. Dispatching. All right? And in 2235, look at this. And he said to them, when I sent you without money, bag, knapsack, and sandals, did you lack anything. And they said nothing. We lacked nothing. We lacked nothing. But look at the items that he points out here. He says, I sent you without money bag, knapsack, sandals. You would think that these are pretty important things if you're going to hit the road, right? Mm -hmm. But what we think is so important and so necessary ain't nothing for our God. Amen. Ain't nothing for our God. So when he sends us out, he equips us. He gives us all we need to handle the journey. Amen. He gives us all we need to enjoy the ride. Are you tracking with me so far? Amen. All right. So we looked at direction. We looked at things. Now what we're going to do is this. Backtrack a little bit to Luke 17. Luke 17. And I'm going to read it this time first before I tell you the point of this passage. So Luke 17, just a few pages back, we're going to look at 20 and 21. Now, when he, meaning Jesus, was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God does not come with observation. Right? Nor will they say, see here or see there, for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. Hold on now. Wait a minute. <laughs> Perhaps our journey is going to bring us right back here, folks. Amen. Maybe that's the first place that God needs to direct us is within. Is within. Maybe we all got to take a journey and get right back to where God started with us that day that we came to a saving knowledge of His grace. Amen. Because don't you know, preacher's not exempt. We can all go off the path. Amen. Right? So maybe, maybe part of the journey for some of us today is a journey that's going to direct us right back home. And don't you know, home is where the heart is. Right? And for my brothers and sisters that came up through the Catholic faith, Jesus is known as the sacred heart. Amen. 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 So with God, it's not so much the where I'm going or what I'm taking. It's the who am I with. And the kingdom of God is within us. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 says, Don't you know that your body is the temple 
the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God. You are not your own, for you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your spirit and in your body, which are, guess who, class? God's. God's. You look at Revelation, and behold, the temple of God is within man. Amen. Isn't that powerful? Yes. I mean, that's powerful. It's almost so powerful that our fallen human minds can't really even envision it. Amen. That's how glorious it will be. Whew. Words would fail to describe that day, church. Amen? Amen. So we looked at direction. We looked at things. We looked at sometimes that journey is going to bring us right back home. And home is where the heart is. Last but not least, here's what we're going to look at before we tie it all together. Go to Genesis 13. I told you we were going to bounce today. You said it was all right. <laughs> so, so we don't. Let's look at Genesis 13. Now we talked about this a little bit the other day in a, in a different context. But this is that portion, if you remember, in Scripture. So Genesis